Hello my darklings, how is everybody? It's your girl Nyx, coming at you with July's Witch Casket and oh, it's so cool. I am suffering in this heat, this is not fun for me. It's actually cooler outside than it is in this flat and yeah, I just literally want to go sit outside now, but I'm doing this video and I'm excited. So. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Nyx and every month I sit and I do the Witch Casket subscription unboxing videos. Um, I do them because I love them. I love the contents in these boxes. Every month you get amazing contents which is to do with witchcraft. It helps you along your journey, along your path. Obviously you do not have to be a witch to do this. You can be whatever you want to be um and if you are doing magic uh potions nature things stuff like that these boxes are so so helpful and if you are on a budget this box is incredible you will not believe the contents um yeah it's just amazing i absolutely adore this box and i haven't stopped for over a year now and i like to show people these boxes because i still think which box or which casket needs to get more interest more followers more subscribers because every box that gets um brought one tree is donate uh, is planted and I think they send an email out every couple of months to let us know how many that is now being planted and I think it worked out to about 519,000 trees so far have been planted just because through Witch Casket which is like amazing and uh, everything in the box is biodegradable, recyclable, recyclable, I can never pronounce that word, you can recycle it. <laughs> uh, even the packaging, uh, the little packaging peanuts, they could be recycled too. Yeah, so another reason why I love this box is because I can give it back and nature can get rid of it in a healthy way. It could be reused, etc, etc. Uh, and it's also fairly cheap for, if you live in the UK, it's £29 a month. Um, so I think that's reasonable considering what content you get. Um, obviously I do this on my own back. I am not sponsored or anything like that. I pay for this every month. And I like to do these videos because I like to show people who are maybe on the fence of subscribing what is truly in these boxes every single month and hopefully change some people's minds and get them to subscribe um and I just yeah I just like doing these videos I think that's fun so without further ado let's get to it so July baby so now we've done our element elementals um which finished off last month with the uh, earth element there we go i couldn't remember that um and it was incredible it was just stunning and yeah i love every single box anyway so july is all about potions so again if you are new what i do is i sit down i go through the content pamphlet and then we go through the actual items themselves i will pick out my favorite one maybe two items and leave till last and then i go through everything for with you so should be good so potions i do love making potions they are interesting and they can be pretty fun so for this month we get a potion funnel which is great because i spill i'm so clumsy i'm so messy so we get a potion funnel uh potion stirring stick preparation mat a black glass potion bottle a green glass potion bottle magical book of potions a protection potion essential oil empowerment potion kit a powerful potions enamel i love my enamel pens 
a green adventuring chips and info card, potion making parchment scroll and a shells of magic art print. Now this, I think this may be the first time we've actually had uh, crystal chips instead of an actual full crystal itself, which is pretty cool. So let's dig in. So first off, we have the beautiful shelf art print. That is just adorable. I can't wait to give you guys a proper tour uh, for my altar, which is to my left. I've just got a few more things to sort out and then hopefully I'll be able to set up over there instead of sort of by the window where my weapon wall is on display. Okie dokie, let's have a look. Okay, I'll show you guys the pin because it's really cute. I'm a D&D &D nerd and this pin reminds me of the health potion bottle. That is just so cute. I love how much detail goes into these pins and then the back is really cute too. I, yeah, I, lo I love enamel pins. It's literally because of Witch Casket, I am like obsessed with enamel pins now. It's, it's, yeah, it's insane. Uh, okay, okay. Next, we have the Witch, uh, the Protection Potion Bottle. How do I get into it? Let's go through the bottle. Bottle, 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 bottom. Okay, so we have the oil protection oil can you say what it's made out of so this is made from basil bergamot and geranium nice little mixture let's give it a smell oh it's very earthy in a word earthy it is now it's very earthy Kidoke. Okay, so we have the Magical Book of Potions. Uh, on the back it says, an overview of the magical art of potion making with recipes for anointing potions, bath potions, witches brews, floor, po uh, floor washes and hand washes. Leveling, lovingly written by Witch Caskets, Deb Robinson. So thank you, Deb. So inside we have a little list of some potions uh, to create. So we have anointing potions. So these are used to anoint your spells or ritual candles and to help alter your tools and to add power to specific spells and rituals. So we can have a prosperity anointing potion. Uh, you need moon water, peppermint and orange peel. And this is good for abundance, wealth, or prosperity. And then it will give you how to create it, and then like a little ritual chant to, to say. A third eye anointing potion is moon water, arnica, which you can have a few, a few drops of the oil or the flowers, and star anise. I need to buy some of this stuff because I don't have this. Uh, a healing anointing potion is moon spice, <laughs> Moon spice, moon water, all spice, and barley. And then we go on to bath potions. So we have a love, self love bath potion, which is rose petals, jasmine flowers, and moon water. Emotional healing bath potion is moon water, carnation pepper, peppers, petals, <laughs> and a few drops of neroli oil. Oh, I have neroli oil. I just don't have carnation petals. I will get some. Uh, gratitude bath potion is moon water, orange peel, rose petals and rose quartz. And then we go on to the witch's brews. I love making teas. It's, yeah, it's something I, I love to create. So we have heart healing witch's brew, which is moon water, apple slices and dried dandelion. I have all of them, but my heart doesn't need healing. My heart is quite happy and in love at the moment. And we have confidence brew you need moon water ginger and yarrow again i think i have all of those <laughs> a protection witch's brew so you need moon water marigold flowers and nettle and then we go on to floor washes so these are nice and safe to help clean the home so we have negative banishing floor wash so you need salt rosemary rue and vinegar 
Happy Home Floor Wash, Salt, Oregano, Rose Petals and Vinegar. Good Fortune Floor Wash is Salt, Vinegar, Green Adventuring or Citrine and Rose Hip. And then last but not least is Hand Washes. So we have Healing Hands. So Moon Water, Rosemary. I don't know what that one is. Don't know what the what the top one is because the fonts are like all fancy and I can't read that bit. My bad. Um, Loving hands is rose petal, rose quartz, jasmine flowers, and moon water. And the last one is divination hand wash. You need cherry pits, dandelion root, and moon water. Why can't I figure out what that one is? Is that? An... I don't know. Anyway. That's super helpful. I love uh, creating new items. So now we have a little mm, potion stirrer. So it says potions. Oh, that's so quaint and cute. Another thing to add to the kitchen. <laughs> I nearly dropped it then. Uh, that's a favourite, so we'll leave that. And I like these two. So I have three favourites. Next is the little funnel, which is a cracking idea because if you are working with quite small uh, bottles, obviously trying to pour stuff in, it goes everywhere. So a little funnel. It's cute. I like that. So it says, an easy way to ensure that none of your magical liquid is spilled. Uh, decant your potions, brews and elixirs into bottles easily with which caskets exclusive. A uh, potion funnel. My words aren't coming to me properly today. <laughs> so that's very, very handy, for sure. Okay, I have two items left. Awesome. No, I don't. I have three items because I have one in my little pocket. <laughs> So next up, I'm talking to myself, I do apologise, is the Green Adventuring Chips. Now, these are going to be a little bit difficult to show because they're small. But you get a nice bag of Adventuring Chips. I'll just show you one if I can. Very pretty. Very nice. Yeah, I think this may be the first time we've had proper chips instead of an actual um, crystal. So, great, great, hmm. great adventuring chips. I will get there one day. Grey adventuring is a positive, uplifting stone which helps to promote inner peace, harmony, compassion, and communication. Add these crystal chips to spells, jars, charm bags, etc. And the thing about uh, Witch Casket as well is if you're on the fence is these come with so much information, it's insane. Like the booklet itself, just the content booklet, has a lot of information in that as well. Uh, next up we have a Empowerment Potion Kit. Contains everything you need to brew a magical empowering potion. Let's open that. I love how much detail goes into these as well. Even just like the stickers and stuff, it's like really adorable. Ooh. Oh, that smells lovely. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> my little silly. Oh, okay. So, you always get the ingredients, uh, everything they can give you, apart from stuff like water. Um, maybe some things that you may have in the house, like a bit of vinegar and salt and stuff. But the majority we get a lot of herbs and spices and stuff like that. So we have marshmallow root, which is lovely, um, yarrow, and then mugwort. This stuff is potent. Um, I will I will talk about mugwort in a second because I have something you can use mugwort for, but. Let's go through this first because I love how cute is that. So it gives you the ingredients of what you need and then it tells you how to do it. So you need the marshmallow root, yarrow, mugwort and a pan of warm water. Heat some water in a pan, add your marshmallow root, yarrow and mugwort. 
stir clockwise and state the following. Nature's power I add to thee, potion potent as can be, attracting strength and energy to anything that I decree. There we go. This potion can now be strained and used as a room or aura spray. Ooh. To anoint candles, add to ritual baths, drink as a tea. Always be mindful just in case you do have any allergies to the herbs. Don't drink it if you are allergic to any of them. Uh, this potion should be used the day it is brewed or if it is to be stored, one part high proof grain alcohol or witch hazel to one part potion to preserve. So if you're going to save it um, in your bottle, have uh, basically half of your potion, you know, so half of this mix and then half of witch hazel or like alcohol, which is usually like vodka and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, mugwort um, is really, really good for um, astral projecting and um like having visions and stuff like that um and a lot of people i haven't yet i do want to but i haven't i haven't yet um people can smoke mugwort um to have a a high um which then helps with them to astral project and to have visions and stuff like that. So mugwort is good to also inhale and you can drink it. Um, it's very, it's not a nice taste. I'm not gonna lie, it's not very nice, but it does its job and I'm not gonna lie, it does its job. So my favorite three, before I do the parchment paper, because the parchment, actually no, let's do the parchment first. Parchment first, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> so, I always love like the way that everything is just so beautifully detailed. And I love that it's a scroll, it's so cute. So, potion making is not the complex craft that many believe it to be. There is such iconic Im imagery associated with potion making that it can feel a little intimidating to practice, which requires bubbling cauldrons steaming liqueurs and shelves filled with magical bottles but you have almost certainly already brewed your first potion if you have ever added your intentions into your morning brew you have created a potion a liquid with magical properties there are many ways that we can use potions in our craft any liquids we drink or consume can be made into a potion simply by adding intent or we can add in further magical items to improve imbue the potion with their pro properties. Sorry, I can't really talk very well. Traditionally, potions should be stirred clockwise to attract and counterclockwise to banish. And then there's a couple of overviews of some potions and how we can use them to increase our powers. So basically what we had in the booklet, so we have floor washers and hand washers. Can we use as simple as using straightforward moon water or a complex blend of many magical components steeped and blended with magical intent anointing make a magical potion to anoint your candles altarware etc by blending moon water oils herbs and infusing crystals anything goes so be creative and set your intentions as you go drinking and eating use moon water make sure if you mean use moon water to drink make sure it is sensibly created like from tap water or distilled water not from you know like river water pond water stream water you need to make sure that you're able to consume it without getting ill um use moon water to make your broth soups drinks etc to imbue them with magical lunar energy you can also add fruits, herbs, spices, etc. with magical properties to match your intention. And then bathing, add moon water, magical herbs, crystals and oils to your tub to match your intention. Now I do have a couple of um, bath rituals, uh, like once a month I will have like a self-love ritual 
uh, where I fill it with rose petals and some nice um, Oreo blends that I create myself and stuff like that. Um, I do sometimes do moon baths as well. Sometimes I forget, but I do do a lot of moon water. So we're down to my final three already. So let's do this one first because this is lovely. So this is the preparation mat. I think this is so beautiful and it's so simple. Like I say, everything's so simple, but it's so beautiful. So this is the mat, it's quite big. And then if you look at the detail on that, and then at the bottom it has witch casket and you put it into it. And it's great because it's fabric, so you could just roll it up and put it away out of the way if we need to. You can have it on your altar um, with any items you may be using. Uh, so everything's prepared and set on the, I've rolled that up so bad. Um, so you can lay everything onto your cloth and get it all ready. Um, maybe if you're transferring your stuff, you can put it onto the cloth and then roll it up. Obviously make sure nothing is breakable and if it is, be careful with making sure you don't crush anything. Next up we have the bottles. I love these bags. These bags are so cute. So this one is the, it's the black one I think. Very nice, simple, beautifully done, cute little cork chop, which I've just thrown away. As long as my cat doesn't chase it, it's fine. But very beautiful. And then we have the other one. So again, it's the same style bag. And then in this one, we have our green bottle. And our green bottle has a beautiful pentagram. And again, it's corked. I, like, I prefer corked, to be quite honest myself. And that is it. That is July's Witch Casket. Um, I really, really hope that people who do watch this and people who are intrigued as to what contents is included, I pretty much have about a year's worth of content. So go through, have a look, and if it makes you feel more interested in it, I'm very, very happy. And if you do subscribe, even better because Deb and Ella do such an amazing job and all of their love and their intention goes into creating these items and it is literally just Deb and Ella that create this whole thing. They are a mum and a daughter and they are amazing. And also, if you are a subscriber, every month you'll have an email, <clears throat> excuse me, I to try. Every month you'll have an email with a code, like a password, and they have a website where you can purchase past casket items singularly so I missed out on a couple of things that I wish I'd like subscribed to at that moment but because I couldn't like I couldn't afford it that month or something I unfortunately had to miss out but because I am now a subscriber and I get this this password so I can go into the Witch Casket Emporium website and I can just singularly purchase items um, from a lot of the previous caskets and I think it was my last one of the last videos I made was literally the stuff I ordered from the Emporium itself and then they gave me a cute little, cute little goodies um, so yeah it's another bonus as well if you have uh, if you are a subscriber don't forget to go on to the Emporium because they do have some amazing things um, there is one question though, um, if Deb and Ella are watching this, how come we're not having any more um, incense sticks? I kind of miss those. Because um, yeah, they, they've been like a part of the subscriptions for a long time, but now the past two caskets, I think, we've not had incense sticks. I'm just curious, um, just wondering what's going on. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I am like, yeah, again, as always, love obsessed. Can't wait for next month. Um, 
and yeah I really really hope that anybody that is curious about watching uh, about subscribing this has changed your mind and I will see you guys in August oh my god it's August already nearly have a blessed weekend ahead of you guys bye